All right, so we are now in the lab. We're sitting at the kiosk computer right by the laser. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to take your file through RDWorks V8 and go ahead and get it to get ready to engrave. So first things first, go ahead and open up RDWorks V8. That is going to be the software we use. And so it'll say boss laser when it opens up. And at this point, we're gonna go ahead and insert our flash drive. Now remember, our flash drive is going to go in this cabinet. I know it says no student access, but we're going to ignore that. This is where that flash drive gets plugged into. So we plug that into the CPU of our computer. We can see the little light is on. And then as we come back to our desktop, we can see there is this nifty little pop-up screen. Now I'm gonna open the file from my program rather than this pop-up screen, so I can just minimize that. And then up here in the top corner, I'm gonna click on this little icon that says import. I'm going to find my most recent file, my Marshall Gears DXF, that's me. And you can see a nice preview of what it will look like and click open. Uh, it does look a little bit funky when it comes into Boss Laser and specifically it looks very, very tiny. Now, even though we saved it as some vectors, this is one time where it does uh, skew the scale a little bit because it thinks it is millimeters when it was not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the size. Everything is selected and I'm going to make sure that I click this lock icon to constrain my proportions. Now, you're going to have to trust me on this one. I've done the math and I'm trying to make it easy for you. So you are going to come here where it says percent and you are gonna type 2,540 and hit enter. When you do that, you are then going to need to zoom out a fair amount over here on your screen. But now our gears are approximately the correct size. A way that we can double check this is by double checking the diameter of this circle right here in the center. If you remember from our inventor tutorial, that should have a diameter of about 10. And indeed it has a diameter of about 10 inches. So that is correct. Now we do wanna double check the position to make sure that we have them set up in a good spot on our laser. And again, I'm gonna have you trust me on this one too. I'm going to have us put the position to an X of 237 and a Y of 247. So coming up here to this corner, we're gonna set X to 237 and our Y to 247. Now the reason why I'm having us put it in those specific locations is because on our laser, right over here, I have set up a little tape line. So what you're going to do is take your material, make sure it's turned sideways so that it is a little bit longer left to right. And you're gonna put the corner right inside those tape lines. Uh, with that, if you set up your print job well, you should be good to go. And now one thing that I will advise coming back to our screen over here, um, if your job size is really any bigger than like 110 millimeters left to right, we might have a small problem. Um, like I said in our last video, as we set up this file, we do want our gears to be pretty gosh darn close together. So if you can move them even closer at this time. Now, one more thing that we're going to check on our screen is we wanna make sure we have the correct settings to cut this out. So everything right now on my screen is black and I'm working on the black layer. When I double click on that, it opens this box. It says, is output yes? And I've dropped my speed down to 20% since we are trying to actually cut this out. My power is 45 to 50 and the processing mode is on cut. I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. And if I wanted to preview this, I could. It's gonna take all of two minutes to fully cut this out. Before I hit the start button, I do wanna go ahead and make sure that I have auto-focused my laser. So over here on the side, I'm gonna hit the ZU button. Remember, this is not a touch screen, so I'll actually use the arrows to scroll all the way down to auto-focus and then hit enter. When I hit that button, it's going to go ahead and start autofocusing, but oh no, look, my laser head is not over my material. So we're going to try that again. Make sure your laser head is over top of your material when you autofocus. So we autofocus and now it should be at the exact height it needs to be to accurately cut out my gears. I'm just double checking to make sure it is nicely in that corner. My laser head is over top my material and we're all set and good to go. Go ahead and close the lid. And at this time, if it's not already on, you would turn on these two switches. So remember that switch above the wall and also this switch back here on the power strip. 
Now at this point in time, I'm going to recommend you mute your video as I'm going to turn all these things on and it's going to be loud. So at this point, we have all the background noise. At this point, we go ahead and click that start button so we can go ahead and start our print job. And it's going to automatically start cutting out I. It's going to automatically start cutting out our shape. 